Y'all know what it is, it's the mob today I have from Cold Dog and Damn Toys, Homeless Joe. This is a figure that's been long awaited by myself. Ever since I saw the pictures of the preview, him in his little tent, him and all his accessories. The way I was able to get it so fast, there was a seller in California that had an auction and I was able to get it for along the same price a Big Bad Toy Store. For the accessories, it comes with five sets of hands, these are what I like to call the resting hands. These are what I fit the spoon in between the fingers. That's pretty much it. These are maybe for holding logs. These hands were better holding hands for the bottles, the walking stick. These are pointing hands, well, pointing fingers, I should say. They also come with pegs. The smaller end fits within the hand and the other side in the arm. Already broke one of mine, it comes with two extra. Just gotta be real careful with these. They're extremely brittle. Just be careful. The stove. Now on top of the stove, it's magnetic and it comes with a smokestack, which is also magnetic, holds very well. The stove is, has that heat weathering that's really nice top of the smokestack you can fit the plastic smoke fits very well stays well looks nice when it blows in the wind I'll show later in the videos this is a shelter it's a lady picture and he drew a little picture on it of what happened when the atomic blast went on I assume the dead humans and there's also additional characters there are the prisoners and the golden dog On the outside, it's weathered very nice. All the stuff, all the accessories that it comes with are done very well. You put the smokestack in the shelter, or through it I should say, attach it to the stove, and there's a bendy wire. You could set it up that way. So, not so much a tent, it's more of a shelter. Up next is a lantern with a sandal. You really can't move it very well, but it is weathered and it looks nice. What you can do, there's hooks inside the shelter. You could hang it on there. Holds very well. It looks pretty cool also. Here's the coffee pot. The heat marks on this, it, <laughs> it's just phenomenal. Like even at the bottom, how it looks on the stove if you choose to display it that way. Here's the skillet with the food inside. <laughs> looks very neat, like it's edible. I could eat it up right now <laughs> with the spoon. At the bottom, death gas station, neat accessory. Here's his walking stick or his skewer or his clothes holder. Doubles as many things. Put his hat at the end and put the socks on top if you'd like as a display. Here are the socks. Like they're blowing in the wind. Very well done. You could also put the meat, a little piece of meat. I wonder in the death gas station world where he's getting meat from or what type of animals. Paint looks nice on it. And also the mystery accessory, the poop. I don't know why he has poop. <laughs> it's painted very well, maybe to ward off other people in the world. Here's a piece of wood, the notch in it for the axe. Here's the axe itself with the cover. It slides right in from up top. Very sturdy. Doesn't seem like it would break at all. The axe itself. And if you'd like to or choose to display it this way with the axe in the wood, has a hole at the end where you can put a string, the extra pieces of wood, charred part charred piece of wood is pretty neat and the regular on charred here is the canteen weathered very nicely that metal polish on it it's really nice the stereo my favorite accessory the handle moves back and forth weathering weathering on all this so broken record weathering on all these pieces is very nice love the stereo 
Here's a bottle with the paper wrapping around it. And it's neat how you can see the bottle on the other side, the clear bottle. Very neat. Here's his other weapon. It's the broken glass. Here's his little beanie. The elastic is pretty tight. It doesn't seem like it would stretch out and stay that way permanently. Looks very nice. Here's his word bubble. End of the world, end, not home. It says on either side, there's a pig in his head you could take out and put the word bubble in there. I put it on his chin. I think it looks neat either way. So you could put it there and I'll also put it on the chin and I'll just, I'll show you in my pictures how nice it looks in one of the pictures and it may not go the way, but that's the way I used it. And <laughs> just to show you, but it's piping his head and also his mouth. Pipe is really nice. Detail is great. You could smoke out of his head if you'd like it to and speak out of it. Chin also the same. This backpack. You cannot take it off through the hinges. You can't put the axe in there, and there's two other storage compartments, which have foam that you would have to remove. Here he is with this backpack. Here's the sleeping bag. Weathered real nice once again. And it has Velcro on either side. The Velcro is very strong. It's not cheap Velcro. Stays on pretty good. Very good. Here's the card he comes with, which I assume is a human and the atomic blast going off. The accessory bag. And Homeless Joe himself. His head movement, pretty good side to side. Open the mouth. Look all the way down. Looking up is not so good. He just looks straight. He is double jointed at the elbows. I would just recommend you'd be really careful with him. He's kind of fragile in some places. Double jointed at the knees. And he has full 360 on the feet. No pivot at all. Which is unfortunate. I think you would need the pivot. Weathering on the coat is excellent. Down to the shorts and into the boots. Love the way the boots look. Whether at the bottom. And his little tattoo on his leg is pretty neat. He has buttons on his coat. Oh, this is the end patch. His little beater. <laughs> Stain too. Looks neat. He is jointed at the chest ab area and the waist where there's a pig you can undo his pants overall just a very nice looking figure here's an extra little comic that it comes with it's fold out also incorporates some characters that have been in the past and also the sisters are alluded to in there to come And I'd just like to leave y'all with some pictures that I took of him, some video. What I want to do with the pictures is just go with the theme and just put some iron stuff in there, some metal things. Also with the seaman scene and it just was so good, it looks like the end of the world and I thought just anything where you'd think that you would be able to rest, there's nothing around and everything is in ruin. And like in the comic book, the only thing that they're trying to find is the death gas station. Looks like everything else is pretty desolate, so I assume that's what I pictured in my mind. When I thought about everything is that there would just be scrap metal hanging around like old things, old bridges and stuff like that. So I thought that would be pretty cool to incorporate. But this is Homeless Joe from Damn Toys and Cold Dog. It's the mob.